I want to show you how you can use Business Central to plan and execute production orders from multiple locations. So let's take a look at it. This is the finished good item I'm going to be creating. On this finished good item, the replenishment is based on production order. This is the routing, and this is the bill of material. I'm going to create three production orders in three different locations, but I'm going to use a standard routing number because on this system right now for this item, I am not using SKUs. If I was using SKUs, I could specify separate routings for each location if I wanted to. Let's take a look at the bill of materials. Go to the item and structure. Here's the bill of materials right here. I've got a subassembly item here. On this bill of material, all the items and the work centers are going to be back flushed. It'll make it easier for the demonstration. The demand for this demonstration is driven entirely by this one sales order. I've got the finished good line item here, but I have it pulling from three different locations. I am logged in to the manufacturing manager role center. And the first thing I want to do is go to the planning worksheets. I've got a blank planning worksheet. So to fill it, I'll go to prepare, and calculate the plan. I'm going to calculate the plan for both the MPS and the MRP at the same time. This now shows me the suggestions that the system is making in order to fulfill the demand in the system. I've got production orders here, three different production orders, three different locations for the finished good item. I've got all the component items ready to go on a purchase order. So what I need to do now is just accept these messages. These are action messages. I'm going to accept each one of them. Once I've marked the action messages that I want to execute, I'll go to home and carry out the action messages. This is going to create production orders in the plan status and purchase orders ready to go. I'm back at the role center. I've got planned production orders. Let's take a look at those. The first three are for the finished good item. The next three are for the subassembly that I need to create in order to create the finished good. Let's look at this first production order. This is going to be made for the east location. You can see that here. I'm going to go ahead and change the status from firm plan to released. And I'm going to do that for the rest of these production orders so they're ready to go. Before I make the subassembly items, I want to order in the component items for them. So let's take a look at the purchase orders. Here's one of the purchase orders here. You can see it's ordering items from this vendor it's going to send to these two locations. I've got another purchase order that I had generated earlier. I'm going to receive that in as well. So let's go post this. And here's the other purchase order for the other location. I'm going to post that as well. And now I have all the component items received into separate locations that I need them in to execute the finished good items and the assembly items. So let's go and finish up the assembly items. I'm going to change the status here to released, and I'll release the other two. These are my released orders for the finished goods and the subassemblies. I'm going to create the subassemblies first. Because the bill of materials and the workstations are all back flushed, all I need to do is change the status to finished, and I'm done. And I'll finish the other two. I purchased and received the component items I need. I created the subassemblies I need in three separate locations. Now let's take a look at the finished good. Here's the finished good item. It's in the east location. I'm going to change the status on that to finished. And I'm done. And I'll change the status of the remaining two. Let's go back to my finished good item and see the availability by location. And here we have the total availability for this particular item. I've got the demand over here generated by that sales order. I've got in stock, ready to go, the inventory that we just created right here. And this order is now ready to ship. So this is a simple example of how you can use Business Central to plan and execute production orders in separate locations.